Hi everybody. Well, this machine is a Neutronics a refrigerant identifier. Uh, this one is a model to be used with R1234YF, uh, the new refrigerant for mobile AC. And uh, there's some uh, older versions of this that will work with uh, R134A and R12, uh, which this one will also do. Uh, but this one is the newest one that also works with uh, the new YF refrigerant. So this is the uh, currently the most up-to-date model. Uh, this is the uh, parts that come with it. You got a charger, a tank adapter, and a hose adapter. And uh, got a couple other little parts here. You have the uh, YF adapter. So it says right on it, J639 for R1234YF. And you would take this and connect it to the low side service port on the vehicle and then connect the other end. This one here connects to the back of the machine. And it also comes with an adapter for uh, R134A. So just your standard 134A adapter. And it's got a whole bunch of other little hose adapters that come with it. Uh, and also a USB cable if you had to connect this to a recovery machine. So let's turn it on and see what it does. I guess it's just going to sit here until I hit OK. There we go. I think this takes about 30 seconds before it's ready. There's the uh, uh, filter. And this will change color starts to turn pink that's when you know it's time to replace the filter there we go all right so now here's where you select the refrigerant that you're going to test so this one defaults to be uh, testing for r134a or 1234yf uh, so most of the time you know with today's cars you're going to be checking for 134a uh, but if you happen to be checking for a yf car you would want to uh, press this button here on the right so let's just do 134a Ready, connect hose to device. So this is where you would connect your 134A adapter and your 134A tubing uh, so the machine can do a calibrate function. And then you would press this button here. So what we'll do is connect this to the back. Just press that on, rotate it, put the hooks in there. And then hit calibrate. Yeah, there it's talking about that little filter when it turns red on the red spots on the outside. Okay, so now this is the part you would connect this to the vehicle uh, or connect it to the tank you're going to test. Uh, we're just going to test nothing. So let's hit OK. That's basically, this is the part where it's going to do the test, but we have it connected to nothing. So it's just going to be connecting, just going to be testing air. So when it prints on the sample, when it prints the uh, report, uh, like this one, uh, this is one I did earlier where it had 25% R12 and 75% unknown. So in this case, we should get all 0% except for the bottom. Air should say 100%. OK, 
Okay, there we go. High air content. Yeah. <laughs> uh, check hose coupler valve, check brass flow restrictor. So obviously we know it's not connected to anything. So it's just hit OK. And as we suspected, 134A is zero. Uh, it did not detect any R12, R22. Uh, HC is for hydrocarbons. Uh, unknown is for any other uh, unknown gases that aren't in the list. Uh, so it would be any other refrigerants that might come up, um, you know, any other types of gases. And then obviously air, 100%. So I'm not going to print it. I'm not going to waste the paper. So let's just say OK. And you can start all over again. So that's it. If you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.